Okay, so one of the best things you can do as a home brewer, if you want to improve the quality of the beer you produce, is take control of the temperature that your yeast is fermenting at. Okay? There's a couple of ways to do this. This is the very easy, cheap, cost-effective type method of doing it um, that we're going to show you first of all. Okay, so we're going to take you through the easy steps of being able to build your own fermentation fridge. The idea behind this is that you then have an environment that you can put your fermenter and keep it at maintained temperature so you don't stress the yeast and this will improve the quality and the taste of your beer that you're producing. Okay, so this is just a second-hand fridge that we've kind of picked up and used. Um, it's really easy to use in the fact that you buy a heat tube. These are usually used for greenhouses, garages. Um, pick these up on Amazon or eBay for anything from 15 to 20 pounds. Um, you can, if you want, feed the power cable through the drainage hole at the back if you want to have it nice and tidy. Or you can just basically have it around here and then take the door closed. The heat tube and the fridge then we would then plug into an ink bird. Okay, so the ink bird we've mounted to the side of the fridge. Um, plug the fridge into the cooling plug socket, the heat tube into the heating side of the plug socket. Then you just hold the set button, flashes, set it to the temperature you want the chamber to sit at, hold the set button again. Voila. It'll then switch on the heat tube to bring it up to 19 degrees. If it goes beyond that, it'll then switch on the fridge. It'll regulate between the two um, based on the temperature probe, which you're going to put inside the fridge with the fermenter. Okay, so your temperature probe then, you can either immerse it in a jar of sanitizer. Um, other people will stick it onto the side of the fermenter covered in bubble wrap, or you can actually fit a thermal well, which you can then push into the fermenter and get the core temperature of the liquid um, so that the ink bird is then taking a reading and then it's maintaining it at the temperature which you want it at. The other great thing about building a fermentation fridge, um, you're then able to increase the temp towards the end if you want to have a yeast clean up on the end um, or if you want to cold crash it for a couple of days, you can set it to four degrees, it'll bring the temperature down, you can cold crash it, that'll help get you a clearer, finer beer. Um, this this really will change and improve the quality of beer that you're putting out as a home brewer if you're not already controlling temperature. So this is the other way of controlling the temperature of fermentation. Um, this is using the Grainfather Glycol chiller um, hooked up to the Grainfather Conical Fermenter. You can actually hook four of these to this chiller. Um, the glycol goes inside and the double skim wall and then underneath there's also a heating element so this will manage the um, temperature of the wort as it's fermenting um, and you can control the temperature just on the front, set it to whatever temperature you want, you can set it or program it, so you can program it to hold it for a certain temperature for a number of days and then to either go up or down, so this is fully programmable so you can actually set it according to what the recipe requires. Uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel and if you would like the content um, you can find more of this over on the maltmiller.co.uk along with all the supplies and ingredients that you need to actually be able to brew your own beer at home and you'll also find more information about us on Facebook.